Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the current issued uniform for the Turkish Air Force. Now this type of uniform was first issued around 2008 when they all switched to this uh, somewhat standard camel pattern. The difference between the Air Force version of this and the regular version of this is mainly in these splotches. You can see these dark blue, I mean it, it is blue. These dark blue splotches are actually colored brown on the regular armed forces uniform but on the air force uniform they are very dark blue so looking at this uniform from afar we can see it's a four pocket bdu two upper chest pockets two lower pockets this particular size of this uniform is like a medium long uh, i did notice that the torso of this uniform really extends quite a bit compared to a usual uniform um, there's a lot of cool like nooks and crannies in this thing. Uh, let's go to the method of opening and closing it. It's got a zipper. Now, zippers, I don't see these too often in a lot of uniforms and a lot of people stick with buttons. A lot of countries, you know, have gone back to buttons like even the U.S. Army because it's quiet. Now the zipper, it's pretty easy to open when you have two hands, but I'm struggling with one. <clears throat> But yeah, it, it opens pretty easily. Makes a little bit of noise, not too much. The pockets themselves are Velcro. So, Velcro pockets. Nice and clean Velcro. The pockets are also pleated. These pockets are not that big. You can't really fit too much in them. Some personal items, perhaps. The lower ones are much bigger. You could fit your whole hand in here and still have plenty of room. Let's take a closer look at the pattern real quick. As you can see, it's a three color pattern. This regular like brown is the primary color I'd say. Then we have like this grayish color and then we also have this blue color. So it's a very unique scheme for like a desert uniform. And the pattern itself, these bubbles, these bubble shapes, wow. I mean, that's pretty uncommon as well, I'd say. You can see it's got the ripstop fabric as well. And it's a pretty, pretty neat little uniform. It's got a lot of gimmicks. Cool features. On the wrists, we have a, a lot of Velcro, so you can adjust it. Reinforced elbow pads, as you can see here. And then another, this looks to be a pen pocket, I believe. You can't really fit anything in here other than some small items. And I'm not sure what this Velcro is. I don't know, maybe you can't really do that. And then on the collar area, we have the Velcro too, so you can close it and it can be nice and tight. This particular uniform doesn't have any name tape, doesn't have the official designation. All it has is one tag and we'll take a look at the tag right now so taking a good look at the tag we can see the manufacturer's information 15 percent polyester 85 percent pamuk i don't know that's probably cotton orta i don't know how to speak turkish so i'm not even going to say but yeah we've got the official stamp there Got the sizing 48.5 here, so pretty cool. Take a look at the inside. You can see the stitching and from the pockets. Very, very nice uniform. And there's also some writing here on the back. 18th, I don't know what this writing designates for. I don't know what the designation is back of the collar. This one's actually a pretty, I wouldn't say it's mint. I mean, you can tell it has been previously issued. Because of the Velcro, you can see there's stuff caught in there. But there isn't really that much fading. There's no rips, holes, or tears. So, you know, it's slightly used. It's the Air Force. Maybe a ground crew, and I have no idea what this person did in, in their role. I haven't taken a look at the right arm yet. Here we can see that there's actually some stitching where a patch was clearly removed. So we can see that. 
fact. Also got the reinforced elbows on this side. And the same thing for the wrists, this Velcro. Let's take a look at that. The Velcro more in depth. So if we turn it around real quick, you can see how the pattern kind of repeats itself. See? Pretty interesting. Yeah. Let's take a closer look. Now this, I didn't notice before actually, but you got some little holes here, maybe for ventilation. It's a pretty common feature on many uniforms. Some on here as well. Just trying to document this particular uniform. And we'll flip it over again, get one final look at it. Lay it down. So yeah, there you go. A modern Turkish Air Force uniform shirt. Not the pants, but the pants are in the same pattern. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. I will be posting more videos of my collection for historical purposes and for, yeah.